Hey, hey everyone, it's Thursday night. How are you guys doing? It is Thursday, May 2nd. Can you believe that already? It's May. Crazy. How are you guys doing? Oh, let me turn this off. Um, I don't know why. Hopefully you guys can find me because um, for some reason it's not going live from my post. I don't know, Facebook and Mevo are having issues right now, so say hello as you come in. Um, oh, hey Audrey, how are you? If you're watching this on a replay in um, YouTube, if you, if you type live, it only works when it's on Facebook, sorry. So, I'm going to try something new tonight, which I'm really, really excited about. It was great, Shirley. How was yours? Hey, Anne. So, um, I was watching Melly Mel the other day from Sincerely Creative, and she was making what she calls the pancake wreath. And so, I wanted to try it. So, I'm going to try that tonight, guys. So, I'm excited about that. So, um, she only uses 12 twist ties. Hey, Fran. Um, and it's a little different than how I do it. I mean, it's pretty much the same except for she doesn't add that extra twi twi twist tie down here. She puts it around these two, so I thought I'm going to try it and see. Um, and what it is, it is, hey Cheryl, it's for like a, like if you have a screen door, sometimes you only have like a couple inches, like four to six inches between the regular door and the screen door. So this fits between the screen door. So I'm really excited to try this. So she puts 12 in the first two rows on the inner bracket and then in the middle between these from here. Hey Rhonda, how was your trip? No sound? Does anybody else hear me? Is everybody else hearing me? Hopefully you are. No sound. Is everyone else the sound okay? It looks like it should be fine, so let me know. If you don't hear anything, try going out and coming back in. Hey, Colleen. So, this is totally her design. I'm not taking credit for it, but I wanted to try it. Okay, good. Um, I wanted to try it and see, because it looks really cool. So, what you do is you t just have 12 pieces of mesh, and you cut them to 20 inches, okay? So, then you ruffle down the center. You want to try and stay right down. Let me move you guys down a little bit. Oh, good. Let me move you guys down so hopefully you can see it a little better. So I'm just going to ruffle right down the center. Okay, so it's the typical ruffle, um, you know, same as everyone else does it, right? I'm not going to tuck the ends under this time like I normally do, okay? So then your ruffle looks like that, all right? No alert, Dora, I don't know what's going on. Crazy, I need to move this back. Let's see if we can get you guys down. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm doing well, put it right in the center. I'm gonna start on the bottom row. And I'm gonna put it in and then twist, twist, okay? Then what she does is she takes this and she overlaps them like that, okay? And she overlaps this one. And then she takes them and she curls them under, okay? So you kind of want to make sure, and she calls it the pancake method, okay? So it's nice and flat. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to do them all around the bottom row first. Hello, hello, hello. And then we're going to do around the top row. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing this video, I would appreciate it. If you don't get an alert from me and would like to type in live, hopefully you'll get them. Okay, so like I said, we're just going to go right down the center. Try to keep it even. Okay, just like that. Thank you for sharing. Okay, sharing is caring. Okay, so it looks like that. Okay, I'm going to go to the next one on the bottom row. I'm going to place it right in the center. Um, Melly Mel, her page is Sincerely Creative. And um, thank you for sharing, Kelly. 
and she makes these so they can fit like on like if you have a screen door right so you take them you cut them to 20 inches and you ruffle them overlap them and then make sure that they kind of are folded under okay just like that hey Linda so I was just excited to try this because you know a lot of the reeds are thick and you can't get them between your storm doors so I thought I want to try this method and um, I think she calls it the pancake method oh thanks Dana yeah she's very good hey Eva so I was watching her the other night and I'm like I have to try that so here I am like I said full disclosure this is not my design it's Millie Mel's so thank Millie Mel for it put it down in I'm going to twist and twist okay and then you overlap the edges overlap these edges hey Diane and then tuck it under okay so look how thin that is okay so that's the whole idea of this design right yeah okay so this is the whole idea thank you for sharing so we're just going to ruffle up the center and like I said this is 10 inch mesh cut to 20 inches okay and you only need 12 pieces hey Sherry how are you okay you're gonna go right down the center and put it in the next bottom one okay yes for this one they are put on different Dora yes yep they're put on a little different they're put on I still put that one around the um, the bracket here around these two okay and I put it on every crossbar and then between the two crossbars on the third and the fourth whoops sorry between the third and the fourth is where you put the second one so you put one pipe cleaner here one pipe cleaner here hey Annette and this is a 14 inch wreath form okay I just thought this was a fabulous idea so I wanted to try it okay and then tuck that under so like I said the whole idea is to um, have it so that it fits between your door and your screen door because she was saying where she lives a lot of people have screen doors and it's the same way around here most people have a screen door um, so the big wreaths don't fit so this is just another way of making a wreath hey Nikki how are you so that it fits it's a little thinner design and it fits between the screen door and your regular door okay so you cross them over make sure they overlap like that and then you kind of want to fold them under so the, like I said the whole idea is to kind of keep it thin so that it will fit between your screen door and your regular door hey Jerry Lynn how are you hey Joanne how's it going all right so we're gonna do the next one and like I said it takes um so you only put 12 pipe cleaners on and then you hey Peggy how are you and then you only use 12 pieces of 10 inch mesh cut to 20 inches hey Sharon how are you all right so this is the last one around the bottom and then we will go around the top so again you want to yes yep this is called the pancake method Melly Mel does um, came up with it and so I wanted to try it and then you just kind of want to fold them all under and now we're going to start on this top row so I want to make sure that all my pipe cleaners are pushed up so I can get my mesh in yes this is the pancake method so I was like I really want to try that so here I am 
Okay, so we have the bottom row, and again, the idea is to keep it thin. So now we're going to go on to the top row. I just think it's a great idea, you know, because a lot of people can't, yeah, isn't it great, Tisha? A lot of people can't fit those big, um, you know, big thick wreaths on their front doors. Thank you for blessing me. Okay, so now we're going to go on the top row. And we're going to go over. They're going to overlap here. You crisscross and then twist and twist. Okay, so then again, you're going to overlap the mesh on both edges. And then kind of twist them under. I know, isn't it pretty? Look, look how pretty that is. And then, whoop, up there. So look how thin your base is, okay? And that's the whole idea of it, is to keep everything thin. All right. Hey, Joy, how are you? Good evening, Anita. If you do not, if you're new to my page and don't receive alerts, Type live in the comments and you will get a message from my bot and you have to follow the instructions. You also want to make sure you like and follow my page. Okay, and under notifications, make sure that that's turned on to see all. Okay, again, so you're just going to go in that. Oh, thank you, Harless. I know, isn't this pretty mesh? I love this mesh. It's like a jute kind of cream mesh. So, hey Joy, hey Rhonda. Okay, then again, you want to overlap. Now, I'm sure I'm not doing it as good as she does. She does a fabulous job. And curl them under, and then make sure you can get to your pipe cleaners down there. Hello, Carolyn, how are you? Okay, and I did notice, which I... Now I know why. A lot of times she puts the ribbon on um, the bottom row before she even puts the top row on. This is a poly, it's like a jute mesh. This is what it is. I don't know if you can see it. I got it from Craft Outlet, I believe. So that is the, can you see that? The item number for the mesh. So if you're doing this method, um, this gets you 12 pieces, right? If you cut the mesh to 30 inches, you get, um, so you would get 18 pieces out of this. So really for two rolls of mesh, you can make three wreaths if you're using this style, which is awesome. Okay, so make sure that pipe cleaner is open. Set that right on top. I know I like it too, don't you? The two tone of it. Twist and twist, and then like I said, she says overlap them. Kind of curl it under. Like I said, now I know why she puts the ribbons on first. That's probably the best way to do it. Okay. And then kind of make sure stays kind of flat. Thank you. I got it at um, Michael's. Yep, it came from Michael's, Sandra. And I know they were on sale for the longest time. It is great. It holds so much stuff. Yeah. Um, there's six on each row, Rhonda. Like I said, this is not my original design. This is from Melly Mel from Sincerely Creative. We have her to thank for this idea. Yeah, so there's six pipe cleaners on the inner row and six pipe cleaners on the outer row. Yeah, they have had it for a long time, right? At 50% off. Hey, 
Teresa, how are you? Oh, there goes my dog again. You guys, she will bark at nothing. Okay, so again, we're going to overlap it here. <laughs> Alright, let me fix that. That was a little too, I got it folded under a little too much. So then I could not um, do the crisscross. Let's try that again. Hey Barbara, how are you? Because normally I'm used to tucking my edges under. And when you do this, you really can't tuck them under. Because you want to crisscross them. Yeah, this is a really um, quick wreath, I think. So we'll see. Alright, so again, you want to crisscross. Make sure they overlap there. And then overlap here. Hey, Francis. Oh, thank you. And then fold them under. But look how pretty that is. <laughs> I know. A lot of times my dog does the same thing when, when I'm on. Hey, Carla from Detroit. How are you? If you guys could bless my page for me, that would be greatly appreciated. Oh, and then I got a box from Craft Outlet today. Oh, you did, Stephanie? I know. I'm excited to make this. I really wanted to try it. Like, I have to try that. Yeah, so I think it's adorable. But, like I said, now I know why she puts the ribbons on the bottom row first before she puts this stuff on the top because you're kind of covering it. So we'll see. I know, Charlotte. I'm really excited. Thank you for blessing. Okay, so again, you're going to cover or overlap them. And then kind of fold it under. Okay, as best you can there. Okay, but look how thin that is. Right, that would definitely fit between a screen door. Let's measure it and see what it says. So it is, like it's like maybe four inches. Maybe four inches. Okay. Hey Peggy, how are you? I know, I almost changed the time. Um, Edie, it's called the Pancake Method. Melly Mel from Sincerely Creative created it. And I saw her do it on one of her lives. And I said, I want to try it. So that's what I'm doing. Right, exactly. This will fit between the screen doors because it's only, did I get all of them? It's only like four inches. Yeah, they are. They are fun to make. And this is my first one. Good evening, Kim. How are you? Okay, so back at the beginning. And we're going to cross that. Cross this. And fold them under. Right, that's why it's called the pancake. Yep. So look, see how thin that is? That's awesome. Casey, sorry I missed the Zoom call last night. Okay, so then we are going to use these three ribbons. The mesh came from Craft Outlet. Okay, so I cut these three ribbons to 12 inches. So I'm going to take the red and then the baseball and then the red and the white stripe. It does. It does. It's so pretty. I really like this method. Then fold it in half. And then I'm going to put these in each of our pipe cleaners. Oh, you did? Zoom can be a paint sometime. I know, they're so cute. Okay, so we're going to do the red, this ball. Okay. Okay. 
I know these are really cute and she cuts her pipe cleaners off so oh, let me try it thank you for blessing me appreciate that like I said this is the first one I'm making so I'm going to try to make it just like she does I'm sure it won't be good how many inches did you cut? The mesh was cut to 20 inches. Okay, so it looks like that. And look, see, look how thin that is. It's awesome. You cut yours too. Have you made this kind before? I'm, I don't usually cut mine. I just usually like curl them up and make them part of the wreath. Um, this is Melly Mel from Sincerely Creative. Um, came up with this design. It's called the pancake wreath. And um, so I really wanted to try it. No problem, Nancy. So I'm just going to go all around the bottom first. And then I will come back. Yeah, it's the flattened ruffle. Exactly. And she also does, um, I've seen her make the um, ruffles or the poofs and she makes them really flat. So it's kind of the same thing. <laughs> so then we're just going to kind of do our ribbons then. Flatten that out a little bit. Yeah, you'll have to check her out. She's so sweet. Okay. You did? I know, I was excited to try it. It's really nice and thin. So again, just to recap, the mesh was 10 inch mesh that was cut to 20 inches. I know, right Donna? It's great. And then the ribbon is cut to 12 inches. And I'm using three of them. You don't have to use three. You can use however many you like. Yeah, she's very sweet. I was like, I, you know, have heard of her a lot. Yep, 10 inch mesh cuts 20 inches. And, you know, I want to give credit where credit's due. And I'm not telling you guys this is mine. Um, oh, no problem, Linda. That's why you kind of want to say who, who made it, because I did not come up with this. So I want to give her the credit. Um, I, don't, she, I don't know if she has a website, but she's on Facebook. Her Facebook page is called Sincerely Creative. And, um, I mean, I'm sure she makes other, other types of wreaths as well, but I saw her make it in this style and in the poof method. So you guys will have to go check her out and tell her I sent you. Oh, good, Judy! I know I love my mesh roller. Look, I use it all the time, you guys. All the time. I don't know how I, would, how I did life without it. No problem. Yep, but you have to go and tell her. Yes, Sincerely Creative. Yes, thank you, Donna. Okay, I'm going to tuck that under. Hey, Karen from Kentucky. How are you? I'm just kind of really get those ribbons where you want them. Oh, that's awesome. Right, because a lot of times people say, well, they're not going to fit, you know, on my door because I have a, a screen door. Well, this kind of, you know, fixes that problem. So, I was like, I want to make one. So, here I am.
And oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, Tuesday night in my group, hey Cecilia, we made this um, burlap watermelon. I have to show you, it turned out so cute. Hey Kitty, how are you from East Tennessee? Be careful I don't cut my finger. <laughs> hey from Pennsylvania. I live in Pennsylvania too, Donna. Where do you live in Pennsylvania? I live about an hour outside of, <clears throat> excuse me, an hour outside of Philadelphia. But look how thin that is, right? See? Super thin. Um, in Royer Sport, Donna. Hey BJ, how are you? This is the last one on the bottom. And then we will move to the top. Oh, okay. So I'm just cutting those pipe cleaners off and then kind of tucking them under. Oh, I don't know where that's at, Nicole. I'll have to look that up. I don't think I've ever heard of it. So that's the bottom row. That look cute. Love these colors too. Okay. Hi, I'm from Kentucky, right here in Dover City. Our song this week: "Beer is good and people are crazy." <laughs> and I don't think I've ever heard of that, Nicole. I'll have to look that up and see where it's at. I'm just gathering it in the middle and placing it down. Emlinton, huh? What is it near? Like, is it near Pittsburgh? Is it near Philly? Derby week, okay. Thank you, BJ. Yeah, I'm really liking it. It's really cute. Cute, cute, cute. Yeah, I've been meeting, waiting to make a baseball wreath. So I have these signs and I kept forgetting to order the ribbon from Craft Outlet because it um, this ribbon, the baseball ribbon, is from Craft Outlet, which I did open the box to get that out because I wanted to make this tonight. But I, <coughs> I kind of forgot, you know, when you place an order, you kind of forget what you ordered, <laughs> and then you get it. And it's like, oh, I forgot I ordered that. Oh, I forgot I ordered that. Tuck that under. Oh, how exciting! You're getting a she shed. Woohoo! That is very exciting. Oh, you didn't get an alert, Debbie. I swear, I hate, I'm really beginning to hate mini chat. I really am. I know, right, T Shell? I'm glad I'm not the only one that does that. Because, you know, you order and then you kind of forget about what you ordered. And so when you open it, it's like, oh! Yay, I forgot I ordered that, you know. Hey, Janice, how are you? Um, I would think they would. 
<laughs> You're going to Sims Pottery, Tammy, girl, take a lot of money. You're going to love it. Which one are you going to? In North Carolina or the, um, where's the other one at? In Georgia, I think it is. Which one are you going to? I went to the one in North Carolina. Yeah, Facebook is a pain sometimes. Hey, Anita from Vegas, how are you? North Carolina, that's the one I went to. You are going to love it. Now listen, girl. Set yourself a budget and stick to it because you can really, oh, you can get yourself in trouble there. You really can. So set a budget and really like what I did was when I went, I set myself a budget and I wrote down every time I put something in my cart so I could kind of, um, you know, keep track of what I was doing. Have I made a wreath? I don't think I've made a baseball wreath yet, but yeah, this is a baseball wreath. You didn't get one either? Oh. You guys, I'm really, really, really driving me crazy. So make sure, if you're not getting an alert, make sure, like, see the live, the three little dots on the top? Um, make sure when you click on that, where's my mouse, that it says, let me see what it says here. Um, turn on live notifications and turn on, you know, that way you'll make sure that if you don't get it from the bot, that you'll get, you know, from my page. Yeah, that's what I did, because Tammy, you're going to get in there and you're going to be like a kid in a candy store. So that's what I did. I took a notepad and a pen and my friend Kathy went, <laughs> my friend Kathy went with me. So she was my secretary. So I would, I would grab something and I'd yell to her, Kathy! 450 or whatever, you know, so I could keep track of it because it is confusing, you know, because you just want to buy everything, right? I just want to buy everything when I'm there. Do you, how far do you live from there, Tammy? Because I live in Pennsylvania, so it was like, you know, an eight hour drive, <laughs> but it was worth it. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know why. I honestly, I don't know why mini chat and Facebook just sometimes really do not want to communicate with each other and really want to give people a hard time. So, Laura Jean's wreath is on. Oh, yeah. That's right. I did see, she, see that she was on a road trip. I didn't see where she was going to, though. Yeah, oh, I wish I lived close. Although, then again, I really don't wish I lived close because I'd probably be there all the time. Three hours. Hey, Cindy from Pennsylvania. So that's not bad. Oh, awesome. Oh, good. Yeah, send me a picture, t -shell. No problem. It's in Graham, North Carolina. And you do have to have a wholesale license to ship to um, shop there. I'm sorry. Okay, last ribbon set here. So I'm just kind of gathering them together. And then trying to get them to sit. Hey, Carl, how are you? Thursday. Do you believe? I still cannot believe that it is already um, May. Okay, tuck that under. So that's all the ribbons on. 
Um, you don't know. You don't have to have a retail. You don't have to have a license now. But if you're going to do it as a business, Judy, I definitely would do that. Okay. So I have this sign that I'm going to use on it. And let's see. Yeah, but if you're going to start selling them, I would definitely, you know, get a retail license because that allows you to buy wholesale and it helps with your, you know, pricing. So this is one of the um, signs I sell in my shop. So then I'm going to put that right on there. So I'm going to put holes in it for whoops the rip okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark where these ties are so I can put it around like on the where the crossbars are I know, isn't it cute? Just look out there. And we'll put one over here. Oh, thank you, Judy. That's so sweet. Okay, so then I'm going to take some wire here. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. It's been a while since I've made one, Debbie, so it's probably been a long time. I think it's been a year. Hey, Melissa. So then I'm just going to feed it through that little hole I made. And then twist it on there good. Hi, Pat. I'm doing well. I know, don't you? I love this sign. I think I have one of these left in my shop. I think I'm getting... Um, Cheryl, it depends on your state. I don't think I had to pay for mine in Pennsylvania. I don't remember, though, because I have did it a couple years ago. But check with your state. And, um, you know, because every state has a website. And just check with them, and they'll be able to tell you, you know, if it costs or what. Oh, um, I use this. It's a jewelry hole punch. It's a metal punch. Can you guys see that? And it just has this little, um, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see it, little thing on the end right there. And it just goes right through the metal signs. It's perfect for making holes in the metal sign. It comes with one hole, but I always like to add a couple so that your sign doesn't slide around your wreath. I know I love this hole punch. I do too. It is awesome and it works so well. Okay, and the last one down here. Okay, and I'm just taking it and twisting that around. Get this out of the way. All right. Okay. We're going to get our wreath and we're going to center it and put it right down in the middle. And put it right on that crossbar. And I'm just really feeding it right through the mesh. If I can get it through. Hey, Hope, how are you? Welcome. And one thing with your signs, you don't want to pull them really tight so that they sink into your mesh. Um, so you don't, like I said, you just don't want to keep it very, it is very intimidating, um, T-Shell. It is a lot. Um, Janice, this came from Michael's. Now I'm not going to tighten that all the way until I know... Um, if it's in the right spot, because I might have to change the size, the shape, and where I have it. 
it is a lot. It really is, T Shell. It's a lot to keep track of. Um, you gotta, you know, send in your taxes. Every state is different. And then you kind of have to send them in. Um, when I first started, oh, thank you, Carolyn. Thanks for coming in. And um, you know, but everyone is different. Sometimes you, you know, they require you to send your taxes in monthly. Other times it's three months. They have me out to six months now. It just depends on your state, but they'll tell you like all you have to do. Like I said, I'm putting them around here, around the crossbars, and that helps so they don't slide around on your wreath. Last one. Trying to feed it through all that mesh is what the tough part is. There we go. Okay. Okay. And again, I'm just going to take it around that crossbar so that it doesn't... Oklahoma, you have to do it monthly. Yeah, when I first started, it was monthly, and then they changed it to now every six months, which I kind of would rather do it monthly, but, you know, that way you kind of stay on top of it a little easier. But what is one thing that's nice about Etsy is they collect whatever you sell on Etsy. They collect and remit all the sales tax so you don't even have to worry about that, which is awesome. Okay, so then what I'm gonna do is just kind of make sure that my ribbons are all pretty. Yeah, every state is just a little different, so you wanna check your particular state. I love this. It's so cute. Yep. Love it, love it, love it. I know, isn't it adorable? Yeah, I really like it too. It's really cute and it was easy to make. Right? Pretty easy. Yep, when on Etsy, if you sell on Etsy, there's certain states that they automatically take out of. Pennsylvania is one of them. So I don't even have to worry about the stuff I sell on Etsy because they take it right off. There's, I know there's a couple other um, states that do that as well. Oh, no problem, Judy. Look how cute. Do you love it? And look how thin that is, right? So let's get our little tape measure here, our ruler. So from there to there, it's like three and a half inches. That's it, three and a half inches. Oh, and this, I have to show you guys. I made this in my private group Tuesday night. Isn't this stinking adorable? Yes, yep, it can be. Look at that watermelon. Isn't that cute? Love that. Love it, love it, love it. The watermelon or the other wreath? I know, right? The um, baseball sign I have in my Etsy shop. I think I have maybe, whoops, one left of that. I know, isn't that adorable? I love how that melon turned out. All right, so that's that one. So let me, um, I wanna show you guys what I got from Craft Outlet. All right, let me bring you up a little bit so I can show you. I know I love it. I'm so excited. I think it turned out so super cute. All right, let me get my box out. 
it's heavy. The watermelon is made from burlap. Yep. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a um, wreath base. It's just a regular wreath. Okay, there's my receipt. Oh, got some of that. Oops, let me move you down a little bit. You can see what I got. Um, it's a wreath cut in half. I got some more breast cancer ribbon. I got some fish ribbon. That's more of that one. I know, I love how that turned out. Some more fish ribbon. I always get two rolls of everything most of the time. Oh, and then, so because I want to make, look, I want to make this um, fish kit. No, I didn't see it. When was that, Debbie? Okay, so I got that because I want to do that um, fish kit. And then, hey, Jasmine, I got this mesh to do it. Isn't that cute? I love that mesh. And then, oh, I also got this little fishing pole. Look how cute that is. Okay, so I got that. I know, isn't it cute? Oh, I want to make a teacher wreath. I ordered some teacher signs. So I got this ribbon and this pencil. Look at that pencil. It's so cute. Oh, and I got some little baseballs for another um, baseball wreath I want to do. Hey, Mary Ellen. So I got some of those. I got some of the green fabric mesh to go with that. Oh, and I want to make an autism wreath. I know, isn't it cute? I love this denim. I got yellow. Let's see. I got, oh, because I got some peacock feathers. So I got this um, mesh. Isn't that pretty? Got that. So I want to make that. I got some red. I got, let me see. Got some more of that, more of that. Oh, I got some of the green and white fabric mesh, which I love the fabric mesh. And that's pretty much it. I have not made a pineapple wreath yet, but that is on my list of things to do. I'm definitely going to make one of those, because I really want to make one. Okay. And that's it. Um, this all came from Craft Outlet. Okay, so let me put all this away. The gray form they use to make the sunflower be. I don't, I don't think I know. The gray form? I don't think I've seen that. Um, because I just, I've only ever seen it on a, um, like a, oh my word, I can't even speak. Like a form line, let's see. I don't even know where it's at. I have it here somewhere can't find it. Hey Reba, how are you? So yes, yeah, so I want to make a teacher wreath, you know, because end of the school year, teacher wreath. Yes, I do, Jasmine, I absolutely do. Type group in the comments. Oh, you're talking about the unique in the creek boards? You got a pineapple afraid of Joanne's. Okay. So that's my haul from Craft Outlet. So yeah, I want to make that fish one. I want to make the teacher one. So there's your couple of wreaths I plan on making in the next couple of weeks. Yep, and then just follow the, um, the group is $14.99 a month. And we meet on Tuesday nights. Yeah, it's called Unique in the Creek. Um, her boards. So maybe that's, maybe she made one on that. Hey, Teresa, how are you? So now I get to put all that away. Where? I don't know. <laughs> Where I'm going to put it, I do not know. Yeah, it's unique in the creek, though. I didn't know. Maybe she uses that to make... I've never seen her make one, but I, I don't really watch her all the time. But, yeah, unique in the creek. 
the red black mesh. Um, it's something that I definitely can do, Diana, the business part. I mean, not, you know, I can help you, you know, I can help you with that and the teaching. I know, I can't wait to make some of that stuff. And I just have to get my button. Yep, yeah, Nicole is in my group. Hey, Lori. Thank you. Oh, you are, Teresa? Yeah, you guys got to go check out Teresa. Teresa, put, you can put your link in there. Are you going live tonight, Teresa? I'm sorry, what did you ask Colleen for the watermelon? Oh, um, actually, I, this is burlap. So that came from, um, oh, awesome, Jasmine. That came from Walmart. The, the, all of the, that came from Walmart. From deco mesh and fabric mesh. A, the deco mesh is kind of like plastic. Let me see here. I have a roll right here. The deco mesh has a little bit of like a plastic feel to it. All right. Go check out Teresa tonight. She's going live. So this is the deco mesh. It's kind of like a plastic feel. And then the fabric mesh. Let me pull one of these out. Oh, please. Okay. So this is a fabric mesh. Um, and it is. It's more like, it feels like, like a cloth almost. Hey, Gary, how are you? So that's the difference. It, it feels a little more, you know, like a fabric, and this feels a little like plastic, I would say. You know what I mean? But that's the difference between the fabric and the um, deco mesh. Yeah, I mean, we can definitely talk some business in the group. Hey, Emma, how are you? I mean, I'm not an expert by any means, but I can help you, you know, with what, um, what I know. I love fabric mesh, too. This came from let me get you I know I need to I, I am thirsty Gary thank you the mesh roller came from Susie's Reese and things and I do have an affiliate link so you will get I will get a couple pennies if you purchase one but that's for the the mesh roller and I love it she has several different ones she has um, a single one this one is the triple or the deluxe collapsible one. And then she has a three row one that's not collapsible. So yeah, you will not, you will not regret getting one of these. I love my mesh roller. I use it to cut my ribbons. I use it to cut my mesh. Um, I use it when I do my poofs and all kinds of stuff, but I really, really do love it. I mean, that is one product I really don't think I can live without. So I really do love it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Hey, Diane, how are you? <laughs> what are you making, Emma? Anything fun? Yeah, so that pancake wreath was really fun. I really like that. And it's nice and thin, so it's going to fit through a screen door, you know, between a screen door and a regular door. So I'm excited about that. I think it's going to be cute. All right, guys, that is it. For, but that was quick, wasn't it? That wreath is very quick to make. It's one of the quickest wreaths I think I've made. Oh, well. All right, you all have a wonderful weekend. And hmm, I don't know what I should make next. The teacher wreath? Maybe the teacher wreath. Thanks, Colleen. You as well. You all have a wonderful evening. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, sure. This is the baseball wreath we made tonight. Look how thin that is. So it will definitely fit. And then my watermelon, which I just love how it turned out. Whoop. Doesn't want to come off the hanger. And then here is the watermelon. Okay. 
All right, you guys, have a wonderful evening, and I will, you can always catch the replay, share it. If you share it, share it, share it, it will be um, on your page. And then, um, thanks for stopping by, Shorty. And then you can just watch it there. Thanks, guys. Have a good evening.